Oh, did I just screw something up completely? I think that was hover mode, actually. Yeah, because I'm not supposed to be in hover mode and in normal. No, wait, 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 no, no, no. Why? 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 Okay. Alrighty. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of some more Simple Planes. Just look at this thing. Oh, is that a kill? So yeah, today I'm gonna be checking out you guys' creations, and these creations have been sent to me on the Discord, and that is where I'm gonna take the creations for Simple Planes from now on. So, in case you wanna send me any creations for Simple Planes, or anything else, simply put it in the Discord, link is in the description below. Alright, so let's check this one out. Now, there were not really that many controls, but it should be okay. I'm gonna put the speed all the way up. Okay. All right, things are happening now. So I read on the page, oh, the front motors are tilting. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Now, it did say on the page that this was an incredibly easy VTOL to take off. And honestly, I have to agree. God damn it, just look, I got killed that fight. But yeah, it is incredibly easy to get up from the ground, which is usually in, yeah, a bit of trouble that I have with VTOLs. But I also have trouble with something else that I think you guys know what it is. Let Trush Dantinus test. The roll, though... That looks pretty good. Now, we are below the height, but that doesn't mean jack if it still makes it. And I think it is very safe to say... <laughs> God, that face, I just... I almost laugh every single time I see it. It's so cute. Now, a thing that worries me here is that the roof is somewhat the same height as the two vertical stabilizers in the back. Meaning this test... It's gonna be interesting. No, I gotta say, honestly, even when it's upside down, this is actually surprisingly stable. Okay, let's get a good view on this. I'm really trying to get a good view on the water. Also, this one seems so incredibly stable that we're... No, 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 get up. God damn it. All right, I'm gonna try to take off like this instead. I don't know if it works, but let's just... Okay, yeah, that worked. But yeah, like I was trying to say before I got swallowed by the ocean, is that this one feels stable enough to maybe go a few extra seconds on its own with this water test, because I'm always trying to up the time a little bit. However, now I can see that it is very, very slightly pitching downwards. No, 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 yes, 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 no. Just no. You know what? Since this one actually is very, very stable, I'm gonna try something here that I haven't really done in any other Trush Dantinus tests, which is okay. I'm also yawing for those of you who don't know or can't see, but it's only a forward loop. Now, I was kind of trying to do what was known as a corkscrew, I think was the name. Oh, god damn it, I'm way oversteering here. Okay, you know what? 14% speed, I think, is just fine. However, this steepness. It's not very fine. Okay, right. So it is very, very slowly going down now. I don't think it needs any suspense. Oh, it has some suspension. Just a very tiny amount. I think that's just the wheels themselves. Now, I don't think I need this either, but trim up apparently is some air brakes that we got there as well. So that's pretty cool. I think I can break it with control though. There we go. All right, cool car. All right, so moving on from something that looks like a Flintstone car for kids at the mall, if you know what I mean, to something that looks incredibly futuristic. Why are we not moving? Hang on a second, maybe it's the action groups? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. No. Do I just need to hold W? No. So what the hell do I need? Oh, okay, I see. Maybe I should have looked up on the controls, but it's okay. We're gonna go do a few jumps in just a second. I really just want to see the acceleration on this thing. And what better way to do that than on a freaking landing strip, right? So we said that this was kind of as fast as a supercar, and in parenthesis, not really. And we're currently at, well, 158. I'm just hoping that this one can actually do... Oh, okay, I should probably stop. Stop it before we hit that grass. Stop. You're not stopping, are you? No! But yeah, I do hope that this one is actually capable of doing a few jumps because things with very slow acceleration and I don't think that the uh, percentage is actually doing anything here, so I'm just gonna let this one go. But yeah, I've had a bit of trouble with other vehicles in the past that didn't have that good acceleration. Now this one, oh, it's just shy. Alright, just turning around here. No, don't, sc don't screw me over. Don't screw me over. No! Nay, <laughs> I'm a trying this again. <laughs> Nay, Nay, ah, oh, fuck. Hey, you can just back this thing up so you don't even have to worry about going over the edge, which is beautiful. So now we should be able to have just a tiny bit more run up and hopefully get to roughly 130, which we are actually very, very close and we have now passed it. So here's the question Will this work? Oh, come on, come on again. Just short, god damn it. I'm pretty sure that there was something. Oh. Oh, what? What happened there? I didn't quite see. Oh, 
Ah, so this is the aero system. The description talked about an aero system where you were going to be able to turn on a dime. So yeah, let's check it out. All right, so this is just the default configuration and it does have very good handling already. Now, what happens if I do... Hmm. It doesn't... Shit, goddammit, stay on the road. Yeah, it doesn't really feel that different. Maybe it's the other way. I honestly don't know, but let's try this. So again... It doesn't feel any different. And again, it may just be me. You know what? Actually, I think I'm getting confused by that course. So let's just do it on flat ground here. All right. Now, that's pretty effective. So what about up and go? Oh, okay. Actually, that does feel a little bit more responsive, a little bit faster, too. Now, again, I may just be an idiot and there may not be a difference, but it feels just a little bit more snappy, a little bit... Well, better, a little bit more reactive and responsive in a way. But either way, so you guys know what we must do before ending a segment with a car. It is, of course, this. Actually, I haven't done that with all the cars, so it's not something we must do. But hey, it's cool to do. So let's do it. And no, I have no expectation of this one landing in one piece. Just like the history is, well, a proof of, I guess. Yeah. All right, now this next one here I picked because it looks really, really cool. It looks like a sort of a mix in between a plane, a drone, and a VTOL, which I guess a drone is kind of a VTOL. You know what I mean, but yeah, let's do this. There weren't any other controls on the page, though, so I'm going to have to try my word. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this may very well be the wrong place to start this thing. God damn it. Multiple parts damaged already. Actually, this 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 didn't turn out too bad. Maybe this will cut. I just missed it. Holy hell. But yeah, I'm just restarting here because there were some parts damaged and I thought I could already feel that with the flight and everything and I don't want that to affect any tests that we're going to do. So this is a completely refreshed and repaired plane. All right, now this one is actually very fond of just pitching up a little bit and as you can see right there, it's starting to do it. So you know what? I'm going to let it do it and see if it does the true stuntiness test on its own. We will still have to do the roll, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Water test, though? Yeah. I mean, the horizontal, st or again, vertical stabilizers, they are a bit close to the vehicle itself. Are, are we stalling? Oh, no, no, we're not stalling. We're fine. Okay, it seems that it's not stalling, it's just no longer flipping, which means I'm going to help this one, and we're also at a 20,000 feet height. Hello, Earth! How are you doing down there? Wow, okay, still wibbly wibbly wobbly. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time because obviously it's not supposed to do it on its own. I just think it's fun. All right, so let's do this again, but this time we're actually helping it. As you can see there, it's a bit crooked. And also, as you can see here, it's a bit crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's not crashing when it's doing a loop at roughly 1,000 feet, which is pretty good. Actually, we gained about 1,000 feet height on that one. Alright, so there's 1,200 feet roughly. Now, yeah, the roll, that's just a roll. It actually does really, really good. I anticipated it being maybe just a little bit slower, but hey, I'm not complaining. Alright, now it is again just actually a little bit wobbly here. And I don't know if that is because of the size of the vertical stabilizers in the back, but either ways... That's not really gonna determine anything right now. Come on, cut the push the fuck, god damn it. Oh hey, we actually got a gun. Oh, that's really cool. Speaking of which, I need to see if there's anything on the action groups. Doesn't look like it. Right, now please don't snap on me, okay? Oh, thank god. No, no, god damn it, stay on the ground and jump and move it all around. Didn't I say that in the previous episode? It's, it's tilting! It's it's very slightly tilting, but slight is enough. What the hell is happening? Can you can you stop? Just uh, just uh, yeah. You know what? Good enough. All right. Okay. So this next one here. Oh god, damn! What is happening there? What? I have I have never seen anything like that before. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is. The Frantic Flyer, it was a part of a challenge where you're supposed to use as less or as few parts as possible, if I can get my language correctly here. But these these control surfaces, I have never seen anything. And, and the freaking rolling as well. What is happening here? So as I suspected, no landing gear, which is all right. Uh, do we have an engine, though? We do. Yes, there's one in the back. All right. Oh, OK. We just started going upwards like crazy. Oh. Maybe this one is going to do its own true stuntiness test. It actually seems like it's working. I wonder if we're going to crash. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It is freaking... 
<laughs> Wait, hang on, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down the speed just a tad because this is this is not uncontrollable, but it hurt uh, it down. It is yeah, you know, it's a little bit uncontrollable. Uh, come on. Come on, okay, it doesn't have any landing gear, but that doesn't mean that we can't land. I'm at 1300 miles per hour, there's there's no way. And also, why am I trying to land yet? We haven't even done the other parts of the Triushlantinus tests. Now, I do know I don't have any speed on, but this is a plane that takes a long time to power down, and I really just want to do this at, well, somewhat controllable speeds. That's pretty much somewhat controllable. Unless, of course, we fly into the air, or the water. Flying into the air. Hmm. Now again, this one is going up as I'm going down, which means that now it's going down as I'm trying to go up. But yeah, hey, water tests not completed, but just survived. I, okay, no. You know what? I wonder about the landing. I don't even need to put on the uh, speed at all. Because this one is just going to glide into victory. Or into oblivion. I guess we'll see. But honestly, what the hell is going on with these control surfaces? It looks so derpy. Regardless of that, we're going to try to land this. Emphasis on trying. Straighten out. Cool. Do we have any air brakes? Of course we don't. All right. Let's keep on doing this. Come on. I'm worried that the control surfaces may... Oh. 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 Hey. Hey, I think I did it. Hey, yeah, I actually did it. Okay, well, interesting flyer. I will say this, it is going up just very slightly, but it is still surprisingly easy to control. All right, so speaking of easy to control, I don't think this is going to be. And it is not because of the developer. It is because of me and my history with helicopters, but I will still try this. So, was it, what, seven to activate hover mode, or is that one? I know that 8 was supposed to be the real flying... Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> Raise the roof! All right, so we're taking off the VTOL over here. Oh. Oh, so it's actually... Okay, it's not completely stable on the ground. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay, cool. Let's try to fly with this. I mean, I know I've only tried to, like, go up. But still, this... Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go, right. This is still not crashing yet. So I have my hopes up for this one, and also I see a few guns, including... Oh right, I actually activated the chin turret on one. So wait, seven is what? Oh, did I just screw something up completely? I think that was hover mode, actually. Yeah, because I'm not supposed to be in hover mode and in normal... No, wait, 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 no, 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 why, 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 okay, alrighty. Yep, yeah, like you can see, I'm not supposed to be in hover mode and in standard flight mode at the exact same time. Okay, it's lo it's looking like it is very, very slightly pulling up. Can I maybe save it? I think I actually can. Oh, that's too much. Oh, that's too... No, no, uh, other way. Whoa, why? Whoa, okay, I'm oversteering. Shit. All right, so I'm going to try this again. Seven should be the hover mode, right? And then I can activate the propeller and then simply go up, right? Now, trim. What the hell was trim? Oh, is that just like very... Oh, fuck. Okay, that is... Oh. Oh, this may be a truly stunty helicopter. Hang on. Oh, okay. No, it's not a truly stunty helicopter. It could be cool, though, but it doesn't go any further than that. Yeah. Ah, yaw is much, much better than the roll on a helicopter. And of course it is. Why the hell did I not think about that? So if I lower the speed or the percentage of the speed, I should be able to just keep a steady height with this one. That's what I'm hoping. Now, in the meantime, we can try the... Uh, Oh! Oh damn, these are like new- Oh, what the hell happened there? What is that? Is that like a mini- Oh, oh dude, that is so cool! Look at that! Hell yeah! Okay, I'm just- I'm, I'm not gonna crash into the ground, but holy shit, that was cool. You know what, let's try that again. So, it fires eight at a time. Oh, that is so cool. It reminds me of that huge plane in Besiege as well. My god, that is awesome. Alright, so air to ground. Do I need to- uh, Oh, wait, hang on. 14 rocket pod. How the hell did I do this again? All right, there we go. I just had to get the groups on. All right. Now, this one over here, Inferno. Anything at all? Or am I just doing something stupid? Like, it's been a while, actually, since I checked this out with weapons and everything. Because, as most of you guys said, I have been using the mod, which, quite frankly, is not that good anyway. Oh, yeah, I think I actually found the perfect sweet spot for this. See, now the helicopter's going down very, very slowly, but it is. Which means that between 42 and 48% of speed, that is the sweet spot. All right, so I'm going to try something here because right now the propeller is bent forward. So if I bend this backwards, backward, okay, and then turn off the speed. No, fuck. Okay. 
Okay, good, good. No explosions, just multiple parts damaged, but... Yeah, we actually survived. All right, so the next one here, I don't really know that much about because there weren't too many controls on the page. However, it said the trim was throttle. Okay, it is. All right. Do I need to do anything else? Okay, we are going now. Right, so those are actually like two small thrusters on the inside of that. How do I, how do I, how do I control this? Like, how do I go? How do I pitch up? Okay, I'm gonna try something. If these, like, oh fuck, okay, no, no, god damn it, I pitched up with the small thrusters, and this is where it's got I made. God damn it, I'm so sorry to the one who made this, I think it's about to explode, and yeah, um, okay, so we have a little bit of steam thruster on the side there that should hopefully turn this not in that way, so very much not in that way. What the hell? So yeah, this is very, very, very slightly going to the left. I don't know why, but I don't actually think I can get this one to work. I'm so sorry. It's called the Riptide, and the link says Riptide Fix. So I guess the developer of this have fixed something with it, but I'm so sorry, I just can't get it to work the way I want it to. All right, so this next one here is actually pretty cool. There's a bit of a backstory to this, which is also why it looks the way it does. It says, new hire to Kerbango Craft Company will make Ferrison, 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 was assigned to the task of cleaning out the scrapyard behind the hangars. Little did we know what he would build. The scrapyard flyer has a tacky craft mallet frame and body as the landing gear, as well as a front wheel from a motorcycle. This makes takeoffs and landings a breeze. Also, it is V2 tall, so landing is easy on land and water. Interesting. All right, so let's check it out. I think, oh, god damn. Oh, okay. Uh, I was, I was kind of expecting this to not, not go straight up, but okay, I guess we're doing this. All right, so landing gear in. Ah, oh, that's the motorcycle wheel. Oh, that's so cool. You can kind of see individual parts from every single little creation that is the, the, script, the, 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 the description describes. <laughs> God, I can't talk today. All right, now I'm gonna try to utilize the trim over here in the true stuntiness test. So let's go. I'm gonna flip this one back too, and let's see how this does. Actually looking pretty good so far. Oh, hey, wait, I may have spoken too soon. See, now all we do is just go up, which is kind of a weird middle way between the main propellers and the Osprey ones. Okay. We're flying around in circles now, I guess. Oh, god damn it! it actually struck me just in this moment that this plane may very well be just a tad bit asymmetrical. I don't think it's enough to completely knock it out of its course, but yeah, I mean, you feel it just a little bit. Hi, right, there we go. So no VTOL engines or Osprey engines this time. Simply me pulling back and almost stalling. Yeah. Still pulling back and it's going the other way. I don't think the true stunts in this test is going to go well with this one. However, we still have a few ones to try. Oh. Oh, the, the, oh, no. I can't, <laughs> I can't even freaking roll enough to do a roll, let alone to actually do the water test. Well, holy crap, what do we do then? Do we scrape the wheels on the water? You know what? Yeah, let's, let's try that. Uh, hey. Okay, this is, this is as close as I've ever been before from the object that we're supposed to get into the water to the object that we're not supposed to get into the water. Yes! Yes! Fucking hell! I can't believe I did that. You know what? It actually seems to me like I did it. I got it back here in one piece. Now the question is, is the landing gonna go as well as the flight? Which actually was just a little bit too bumpy. Oh, that was... Oh, no. Well, it wasn't as bumpy. Just a little bit explodey. But honestly, guys, we are still in, I mean, three pieces, because we're missing, like, two, actually three propellers. So, yeah, we are in four pieces, but it does not matter. I'm still alive, at least I would think I am, me being the pilot. But, yeah, let's move on. All right, so the very last one up here today is awesome looking. I really love all these badass missiles over there, and I can't wait to shoot some of them off. But, yeah, that is not everything this one has, because it actually has an almost fully functional cockpit here, which is really, really cool. Notice this, that whenever I pull back, that handle does it as well, and from side to side. How about the yaw? See that? And the other pedal, too, that is so cool. And then the throttle, too, that little handle goes. Man, it is just so freaking detailed. I'm gonna try to take up here. Oh, that's so cool. Now, notice this as well. We have a little light bulb there that is telling us when we have the uh, landing gear in, or out, I guess, or whatever. I think that this one down there is just that the engines are active. Yeah, this is freaking cool. And I do believe, yeah, okay, action group one, that was those. We got a little bit of light up there. Number two is more of these. Number three... 
Wait, did we drop something? It said drop a fuel tank, I think. Hang on. You know what? I'm gonna go back. All right, there we go. So, number three. Oh, that is the fuel tank. Okay, we did not explode, which is good. I have a funny feeling that when I press four... Okay! We exploded! So yeah, that's apparently not too good of an idea to actually do. Let's get that landing gear in there. How about the trim over here? Did that do anything? Oh, right, so it actually kind of stabilizes the plane. If I put the trim back where it's supposed to be, it's going down very, very slightly. But if I just pull it back, see that? It's actually, I mean, now it's very, very slightly tilting up. But this is so cool. How about those freaking things? These, okay. Well, it's over water, so yeah. Sorry about that. How about these? I mean, of course, this is going to lighten the weight of the plane a bit. All right, so the true stuntiness test. Now, we are at 700 feet, but that is completely fr... What the hell? Is that because I dropped the two other fuel tanks? Because, honestly, that is not a lot of fuel. Well, either way, the roll is perfect. So how about the lubidy loop? Also, that over there has to be... <laughs> has to be the very starting airport's other landing strip. That is the first airport over there, isn't it? You know what? We still have just a couple of missiles here, so... 7, 8, no... Okay, how about in here, though? Oh, we have the interceptor. Well, that's just... Okay, right, that's just that one. But what about the... Hey. Oh, those are the same as before. And so they... Oh, yeah, okay, they do that. Cool. Uh... What? Huh? What? No, hey, no, excuse me. What? Now, of course, like I've heard many times from you guys, this is not going to work in real life! That was pretty crazy, and it did not seem to work in real life. I have multiple parts damaged. Okay, so I'm gonna treat this as a bit of a, well, rescue myself mission. I guess I'm just gonna try to land this one without, you know, exploding it first. Actually, come to think of it, there was one explosion already, wasn't there? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about that, because, hey, it's still flying, and I should still be alive if I would be the pilot. I honestly don't think that's the case, but all right. Bit of a crooked approach here. That has never stopped me from trying, though. There we... Oh, God damn it! Just... Yes, okay, we got some air brakes as well. Now, this is just a plane with super hydraulics. God damn it. All righty. It's very... No, 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 no. It was going so good. It's a bit of a steep landing again. I'm just trying this for the shits and gigs, but yeah. This is... Oh, this is a very steep, very crooked landing. If I make this... Oh, shit, I didn't make this. Yeah, it, it, just forget what I said. But yeah, either ways, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to end this one here. Like I said, if you want to send me some more creations, you should go to the Discord. There is a link in the description where you can go, and we have a Simple Planes Suggestions channel where you can post your links in there. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. For those of you who don't know, I'll be on Discord at least 30 minutes after each upload. Unless I got something like really important that I gotta do. But yeah, I'll be there after this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.